Central tyre inflation has been around for a very long time, but its role in industry and recreation has been quite limited. In recent years, the technology has been refined, reliability is now very high, and thousands of trucks are using CTI every day. While CTI systems are great in trucks, it also works extremely well in cars and off-road vehicles. A pretty common sight on the front of four-wheel drives is the power winch. The power winches aren't cheap. They're a big investment to have installed on the car and they'll cost a couple of thousand dollars to get fitted. But often they're not being used to great advantage. A power winch will get you out of a sticky situation, but for the rest of the time, it's just dead weight on the vehicle that doesn't actually work for you. If you have a tyre inflation system, it works for you all of the time. As soon as I go off the bitumen, I dial up a lower pressure. It takes most of the bumps and vibration out of the ride. This means that the rest of the car is going to last a lot longer if it's not being shaken up all of the time. Central tyre inflation takes a lot of the roughness out of the ride on bumpy roads. In fact, it's been proven that on corrugated roads, lower pressures will actually smooth the bumps out over time. Having CTI on board allows me to set tyre pressures to match the road conditions. If I'm towing something heavy, I can trim the back tyre pressures just to match that larger load. Matching tyre pressures to the load also means that stopping distances can improve. This is much better than just leaving tyres set to a high pressure and driving around with the tyres overinflated. If I do get a puncture in the tyre, say I pick up a nail somewhere, I can deal with it in a safe way, not on the side of the road under dangerous conditions, but after hours when I'm ready to. In the meantime, the system will maintain pressures until I'm ready to deal with the problem later. About a week ago, I did pick up a nail on this tyre. I could hear it hissing faintly through the treads, but it didn't really matter. The system would keep the tyre inflated and the nail is still in there. I'll be able to take the tyre back to an agent for them to fix or fix it myself on a quiet weekend. Let's take a look at the hardware which makes up a CTI system. This unit here is called a rotator. It stays put as the wheel turns and it has a special seal inside which can hold air pressures at highway speeds indefinitely. In trucks, the same seals can hold 120 psi for hundreds of thousands of kilometres. The tube that comes from the rotator hooks up with the wheel on the other side of the car so that the two tyres are effectively connected in parallel. Where the two tubes connect, we can put more air in or take air out of the system as required. This all happens automatically. These tubes are tough and after years of travelling through the bush, I've never snagged one, but if I did, it would be a small matter to push it back on again. The front and rear wheels are tracked separately, which means I can have one set of pressures for the front and the rear tyres can have their own sets of pressures which I can adjust for the different loads that I've got on the back of the car. Let's check under the hood and we'll have a look at the hardware which makes the system work. This here is the 12 volt air compressor, which stops and starts as required whenever the tyres need more air. Alongside that we've got a control box which is the brains of the unit, which tells the system when to inflate and when to deflate and manages the display for the operator console. Over the other side, we have an air control box, which operates electric solenoids to inflate and deflate the tyres as required. There's also gate valves, so individual tyres can be isolated if necessary. Now let's take a look at what the driver sees when they're on the road. We have a display unit which is attached to the main control box under the hood by a small cable. This particular controller also supports a third line for a trailer if needed. The value on the right hand side shows our target pressure. The value here on the left shows the live reading from the tyres. While driving, it's going to show the same pressures on both sides of the screen, but the active pressure is going to be within 2 psi of the target pressure at all times. The system has three different tyre pressure settings, high, medium and low. The high is for basically highway use where the tyre pressures are going to be set to a high level. The medium is for gravel roads and corrugated roads where you need to reduce the vibration while driving. And the low setting is used for high traction situations, trying to get through sand or a bog or a very rough terrain indeed. 
Each preference can be preset in the settings area so that you can control the range of what high, medium and low actually mean for your vehicle. It has independent high, medium and low controls between front and rear as well. On warm and hot days, the tyre pressures will increase slightly because of the road temperature and the system will automatically adjust for that. If I increase the pressure, you'll hear the compressor kick in as it finds a new balance. The compressor increases the pressure slowly and checks along the way to make sure it's reaching the target pressure. We can also place the system in standby, where it just shows the front and rear pressures without actually changing anything. It's from the standby mode where we can arm or disarm a trailer if there's one present. While the default pressure is always shown in PSI, we can change a setting and display the pressures in kilopascals instead. The system manual shows how all of these settings can be adjusted. Unlike most off-road accessories, CTI systems work for you all of the time, not just when you're stuck. It matches your car for the conditions of the road that you're driving on at the time, and that's a really important feature. I've been driving with a CTI system fitted to the car for about the last five years, and I'd certainly miss it if I didn't have it. It's probably been the most useful accessory that I've ever fitted.